next guest tonight are one half of just about the biggest musical act to come out of Ireland since Foster and Allen. <laughs> <laughs> are they Irish? Thanks. Yes, they are Irish. I could have said you too, but I thought I'd go. <laughs> Older demographic. <laughs> Their new album, In Blue, has gone to number one just about every country around the world. Would you please welcome, as I say, one half of the cause, Andrea and Sharon Kaur. Who are the guests? We were um, talking before about the Olympic uh, opening ceremony. You did the closing ceremony at the Commonwealth Games? We did in Kuala Lumpur, yeah. What do you reckon Sydney should do to really, you know, make a difference? Is, is anthems the way to go? Well, you, I heard you talking about Julie Andrews earlier, weren't you? No, Julie Andrews. Oh, right, I was right. that right. okay. yeah. was going to oh. get Julie but Andrews. You, you, no, you know, <laughs> she would have been good. Okay. Well, she's you, not you doing everyone. Really no. no, Hang on, are you saying if we asked Julie Andrews to come she'd to the Olympics, no. she'd say no? <laughs> no, I'm she not. Can't. I don't oh. think she can sing anymore. That's oh, the thing. Oh, her voice is... Oh, that's right, she had the operation. Have you got any interest in going to the Olympics? Because I've got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> i got uh, four tickets to the archery. And, uh, I mean, your brother will have to miss out. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, it, is it making news in Ireland, the, the, the building? Yeah, it is. It's, it is. It's making a fair bit of news. But, I mean, it's kind of hard for us to keep track with things because we're travelling all the time, you know, so... You've just been touring for, like... 10 years or something, haven't you? It's... Yeah, well, we've been touring, I think, for about five years, really, but we've been doing this together as a band for about 10 years. Okay. So yeah. You just must ne- never just album on the road promoting the album, yeah. back in the studio. And how do you like, because obviously you travel as a family, so that's something, but then how do you keep relationships and stuff intact when you're away more than you're at home? Um, well, it's obviously something that is quite difficult and it's notoriously difficult in this business. Um, <clears throat> but I think if you really want something very badly, you should try very hard for it and you can do it. So you, you know? juggle? Well, you fly home for a day if you're in Europe or, you know, you just oh, okay. you just do the best that you can. You won't be doing that from here? No. No, no, no you can't no, fly can anywhere for a day a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing I want to ask you is, because you travel so much, do you read? Mm. Mm. And, like, what's the last good book you read? I'm reading all of Ian McEwan at the moment, pretty much Amsterdam. Oh, okay, the whole. Yeah, I really like him at the moment too. That's what I'm doing. And what have you read? And do you swap? I'm just interested because I went on holidays with some friends and we swap books. Mm. Sometimes we do. (laughs) It's it's interesting to know what what people read. It's the Langbook Book Um, Club. (laughs) It's the Langbook Club. I think I'm Oprah. Just bear with me. Sarah, oh, yeah. the, the last one I read was um, Isabel Allende, Daughter of Fortune. Oh, the, oh okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no Maeve Minchin in this? No. Uh-huh. Oh, hang on, oh, I hang bet on. I can guess one. Memoirs of a Geisha. No, Did you read that? Read oh, it's no, fantastic. No, no, no. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something a little closer to Angela's Ashes. Sorry, what was that? I've read that, yeah. yeah. Not as much. There you go. go. I said, I think I look like a geisha today. Yeah, (laughs) a little touch of that. Tell me, were you surprised by the response you had from Australian audiences when you first sort of came out here? I mean, so far away from home? Very much. I mean, we got got the shock of our lives, you know. We were recognised. It was the first time that we we felt... uh, you know, people looking at us and going, my God, it's the cause. And we were going, yeah, how do you know? Are you from, are you from Dundalk? You know? oh, okay. <laughs> it was weird. It was, was really weird. weird. But, um, but, it's fantastic. but were you all together? Because as a group, you're quite, like, identifiable. Mm. Mm. Even if we weren't, though, oh, you know, over know here, you. which is very much like home, very weird. Mm. And, and, and being siblings, I mean, I, I remember I couldn't sit in the back car. Uh, back seat of the car with my brother for more than a minute without punches being thrown. <laughs> You're, how do you cope with I mean, with brothers and sisters on the road? Um, well, I mean, it, you know, it's obviously it, it has been difficult, you know, because family can be <laughs> just the worst fighters in the world, you know. <clears throat> and we are definitely very good at that, you know, and I think we should have won a few gold medals at this stage for, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> but um, we really love music. And um, this is what we love doing. And it's just, it's, it's funny how we ended up together doing it. We all just love music and we all wanted to do this. It's a pretty unusual thing. So our love of that has really kept us together. And we work hard to, to get on well, you know. Have you seen the film Spinal Tap? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the things that's amazing is that one of the guys walks in and says, hey, we're number five in Tokyo. Mm. And when you're a big international band like you, someone must, you must, someone must, walk in and say we're number two in Turkey or something like that. Is it a pretty bizarre thing to find out a country you've never been to is 
That might so, be the chart they're hanging on. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. is it, is it's it, the only one. Is it, kind of weird? <laughs> is it weird, though, to hear all these kind of countries that you've probably never visited? Uh, well, we've pretty much been to most. I mean, we are a band that, that generally go to most countries because um, we think it's only right. I mean, if people are buying your albums, they should get a chance to see you in their own country. Oh. We do that as much as we can. But, yeah, it is pretty bizarre if they tell you you're number one in Norway or you're number one in Taipei, you know. Taiwan, because the last time I, a piece of footage I saw during the week was you guys at Wembley. Was, I don't know how mm. many, it was 127,000 million people, it seemed. <laughs> and then the last time I saw you perform live was here on Bert Newton. Mm. <laughs> 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 Which is kind of, I tell you, it's very appealing, is that, that you don't, one of the things that is, is kind of on the nose with a bit of rock and roll is there just is sometimes too much attitude. Oh, I think it's a really... Oh, sorry, I was just... It's a compliment. I love the question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's a really gr- great thing to have the musical ability to just come into, you know, Bert's studio, which is a pretty big deal, <laughs> and perform. And do it. And, in fact, that's what you're going to do this evening, perform yeah. at your side is, is another track. Breathless has already gone monstrous around the, around the world, the first single. At mm. your side is also on the album. So why don't we bring out the, the other two members yeah. of the cause? Would you please welcome Jim and Caroline out, the rest of the cause... <laughs> Up and I'll do the plug. I'll do the, the guff. As we mentioned, the album is in blue. The track we're going to hear tonight is At Your Side. Ladies and gentlemen, The Cause. One, two. Yeah. Okay. 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 One, two, three, four. Stand. 